Chris Wynnum Woodcraft here. You guys are tuning in to 39 Camper. Brother Daryl. Hope you all can get out into the woods soon. Rock on. I'll catch you on the trail. So, as you guys probably already figured out, Mr. Wyndham Woodcraft, Chris, coming over here from Maine, and we're going up mid-Michigan Manistee River, and we're doing four days, three nights on the river. So this video, I'd like to do a gear loadout, and the gear loadout that I'm doing is what I keep on my body, stuff that I need access to during the trip, during the day, and uh, I keep it in the ribs pack, so let's check out what I got. A little windy today. I hope it's not too windy for the video. So, this is what I carry on me on my kayaking overnight trips. This is all the stuff that I want access to during the day when we're floating. And uh, the first thing I want to start out with is a, a good hat to keep the sun off you. And this particular hat it's nothing special, but it has a drawdown flap that can go on the back of your uh, neck, keep the sun off your neck. This right here, the schmog, this is my friend. I usually roll this up and tie this around my waist, and this is my towel. Um, when I get in the water, drying off my feet. Uh, before I put my my sandals on or if I get wet drying up um, water that's got in the kayak and uh, the, yeah, this is basically my towel here so we'll start out with this side of the ribs pack and this is the the large ribs on the very outside here I have my fire kit. Now we do plan on doing flint and steel fires the whole time, but I like to have a little fire kit just in case. And I have a whistle. Always like to have a whistle. Main compartment here. I have my Oppenel fillet knife that I got from Mark, the Dutch knife guy. And uh, hopefully on this trip we'll catch some fish. I have my Sawyer Mini with the tube in it. My tackle box. My fish tape measure. And a, a small hank of zingit line. And I figured I'd use this as like maybe a stringer if we got some fish on the way. So on the other side, outside compartment, I have a thing of, I believe this is 50. SPF sunscreen and when you're sitting in the sun all day this is a godsend. I have a, another small hank of orange paracord in the large compartment here I have a flashlight and this is just a a really cheap waterproof flashlight but I mean, it's bright and uh, waterproof, can't go wrong. I have uh, my Leatherman Skeletool that I keep on me. And I have a bug net for my head, in case the bugs are really bad. And then last, my first aid kit, and uh, keep it in a little Ziploc baggie, just in 
double protection. I have everything uh, in little baggies in here already, but this is just double protection here. So last but not least is my CRKT Minimalist. Always take this with me on my kayak trips. Love this knife. And along with this knife and my Leatherman, that is the only cutting tools that I'm taking along on this trip. Really don't need to see any use for um, axes or great big saws or anything like that. We have other people in our uh, group that's going to be bringing some stuff. So it just saves on room and space in the kayak. So to end this video, um, one thing that I have not got in here is my snacks, my lunches, things that I'm going to eat during the trip. I'll just uh, throw some stuff in this pack for easy access in the mornings or if we stop for breaks I can get stuff out of my uh, main bag and uh, put in here so we're not pulling over all the time and, and trying to dig through our dry bags and everything. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Um, I'm going to do a total gear loadout after the trip. I'm about 90% sure of everything I'm taking. I'm still debating on a few pieces of uh, sleep gear and a few pieces of equipment. I'm uh, on the fence about taking at this time. But after the trip, if you guys like, I'll do a whole gear loadout for you. Thank you for watching, and guys, have a great day.